Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to display two lines on a chart in Excel 2016. Now before we start, let's take a look at what we're actually trying to create here. I've downloaded some data from uh, Google Finance showing the uh, um, trends in stock prices in Facebook stock for January, February and March 2017. And I've plotted here uh, some of the data. You can see the brown line uh, represents the volume of shares traded over the Q1 2017 and the blue line represents uh, the closing stock price uh, over the same period. And we can see in the left hand side I've got my, um, the left hand axis over here, I've got my volume which is in tens of millions and my stock price which is in the low 100s and that's generally the problem when trying to uh, plot two charts when you have two vastly different scales of data. So let's go ahead and see how we create a chart like this. So here's our raw data over here on the left hand side and you can see I've got the date, open high and low uh, stock prices, the closing price which I'm interested in and the volume in millions. So let's go and create the chart. Select column A with my left mouse button and then holding down the control key select column E and then select column F. So basically I'm just selecting three columns here. Choose the insert ribbon and go to the chart section here in the center and I'm going to click on recommended charts and that shows me a, a chart which looks similar to the one we were just looking at a few moments ago and it's a line chart that I'm looking for so I'm going to click on OK here and I'm going to make my chart a little bit bigger so as we can see what we're doing. So we can see straight away that the brown line representing the volume looks okay but uh, we can just about make it out down here at the bottom that there's a blue line representing the closing price and the main difficulty we can see here is that the brown line uh, represents values in tens of millions and the blue line represents values in the low 100s. We can also see on the left hand side here that our volume figures have somehow been converted into dollars which is not in column F here so we need to make some changes. So we need to work on the blue line, the value for closing uh, stock price, and we need to actually add an axis on the right hand side of our chart over here to represent the values in, in dollars. So select the blue line, uh, choose uh, right click on it, and then choose format data series, and straight away uh, Excel knows that we probably need a secondary axis, and we've got, uh, it's already plotted on the primary axis, so let's click the radio button for the secondary axis, and we can see straight away a few things have happened to our data. Our blue line has moved up the chart. Our volume data here on the left hand side has now been converted into tens of millions. The dollar sign is gone. And we now have a scale here on the right, uh, right hand side representing my volumes in dollars. No changes in the brown line and no changes in the date across the bottom. Just the blue line and the values on the left and right hand side have changed here. Now we could stop there, but we do see that the, it's difficult to make out the trend in the blue line because uh, the, it, a lot of um, low values here are not showing up. So what I want to do is I'm going to change the scale on the right hand side here so that the blue line um, is, is spread out on my chart. So select uh, with your left mouse button the uh, secondary axis here on the right hand side, choose right click and choose format axis. And we can see here at the top, in, under the axis, axis options, we can change the value for the minimum and maximum values on this axis. So I'm going to change the minimum value to $115, and the maximum value I'm going to change that to 145 And what that does then is it shows my chart and a little bit more useful information. I can see the changing, increasing trend in, my, in the closing stock price over Q1 compared to the volume over the same period. So that's how you create and add two lines uh, to a line chart in uh, Excel 2016. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.